But what does this mean? And I think under the definition of our hate laws, doing something which will incite hatred or or damage the lives of people who are part of protected minorities, and I don't like the idea of protected minorities. They are groups, minority groups, that for their religion or their race are identified as being particularly vulnerable. But, geez, I'm not going to argue that people of the Jewish faith, uh, if anyone's going to qualify as a protected minority, only 10,000 of them in New Zealand, and they've had a history of being persecuted in the most terrible, terrible way. So as all the politicians put on their tea towels and march up and down Auckland and boo um, Phil Twyford off the stage, what does the Jewish community think of all this? Uh, we're joined now by a spokesperson for the New Zealand Jewish Council. She's been on the program before, Juliet Moses. Juliet, welcome to the program again. How are you doing? Thank you. Um, I've been better, Sean, to be honest. Thank you. I talked to David Kimmon when all this started. Mm. And, and, and I just thought at some stage, um, people like Chloe Schwabrick and, and politicians who really aren't close to this, it's just the trendy thing that they talk about, would pull, think and pull their heads in. I'd say quite the opposite is, ha, has happened. I'd say we're into some sort of cycle of escalation mm. in terms of, of rhetoric, Julius, uh, Juliet. Mm -hmm. Yep, I completely agree with that. Okay. Mm. What does from the river to the sea mean and what is Chloe Schwabrick and the Greens and other people saying when they say that and when they chant that? Well, to explain, so from the river to the sea means from the Jordan River on one side and from the Mediterranean Sea on the other side. Now, in between those two bodies of water, if you like, is this Israel proper um, so it, it, Israel and then there's Gaza Strip and then what is known as the West Bank. Um, so if you sort of think about those three different bits of land, if you like, um, if you are calling for Palestine to be free between those two bodies of water, you are calling for the annihilation of Israel. You are saying all of it should be Palestine, all that land. It, and that phrase um, is used in Article 20 of the 2017 Hamas Charter. So the direct quote is, Hamas rejects any alternative to the full and complete liberation of Palestine from the river to the sea. So, as I say, it, it, calls, uh, it, it calls for the annihilation of Israel and, you know, many people would argue that as a, a consequence of that, that would mean the ethnic cleansing, if not the genocide of Jewish people uh, in that area, in, within Israel. There are no Jews, of course, in the Gaza Strip, except for those who have been taken hostage and it, none living under the Palestinian Authority in the West Bank. Yeah. So, Juliet... To chant that at a protest in New Zealand, you are calling for the annihilation of the Jewish state and one would presume the people in that state. That's right. Uh, there are, I should say, there are some, you know, there are some people who would say, no, no, that's not the interpretation at all. It just means that Palestinian people should be free um, in that entire area. Do you think, so have you told, do you, do you think Chloe Schwabrook and... Merriman Davison and Debbie Narewa Packer know this. Have they ever argued that it doesn't mean that? Yes, they have. Well, sorry, I don't know about Debbie, but the the phrase was used and the chant was used in 2021 by um, at another anti-Israel rally that Ricardo Menendez March he he posted that on social media, uh, sharing photos of himself with Chloe and Golras. The Jewish Council wrote to the Green Party, to the co-leaders after that, explaining exactly what we believed it to mean. Um, and we got a response that basically said, no, it doesn't mean that at all. It Because it, the question we said is, so do you not believe in a two-state solution anymore, which is your stated policy? Yeah. And they said, oh, yes, no, it's completely consistent with a two-state solution. They totally yeah. gaslit us. All right. So they know that. I mean, and look, I've got to say, part of me is conflicted by this. Part of me says, this is freedom of speech. You're offended, so the hell what? 
Um, mm -hmm. But we do actually have laws against this in this country, and they're quite specific, particularly when it comes to persecuted minorities. Mm -hmm. uh, have you made any approach to the Human Rights Commission or the Race Relations uh, Commissioner? No, not, not specifically on that point, no. Is that because um, you believe in freedom of speech or you don't have any faith in those institutions or you can't I, be bothered? <laughs> I, I am not actually sure. That, you know, it's a very high threshold um, to, in, in the law and it's only been found to have been breached, I think, perhaps only once. Um, I'm actually not sure that it would meet that threshold myself. Um, and, I mean, you know, where would you begin? You've got so many people chanting it. Um, in some ways, it's, it's good to know what these people think um, and see them for who they oh, are. They'd chant, anything. They'd, they'd chant anything, Juliet, most of them. Yes, exactly. And they do. I, to, I want to make another point on that sort of hate speech line. Let's say that the Green Party genuinely believed that when they chant from the river to the sea, they're calling for a two-state solution. I don't believe that they believe that, but let's just run with that argument for a minute. They know how the Jewish community and many, many other people, or most of the Jewish community, I should say, there may be some who think otherwise, but most of the Jewish community and a lot of other people, they know how they interpret that chant, right? And know what's just happened on October 7. Why would they be? Why would they be chanting that? Why would Chloe Swarbrick be leading that chant? They, they're a party who's supposedly concerned about marginalised peoples. They pushed very hard for the hate speech laws because they wanted marginalised people in this, you know, marginalised minorities in this country to feel safe. What, how, can, how can they reconcile those two things? They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly how this impacts the Jewish community. Yeah. Do you think it is appropriate for MPs in a democracy, open democracy like ours to be doing that? Um, can you complain to, to the Speaker, the to the Privileges to Committee? I hadn't actually thought about that. Um, do I think it's appropriate? No, I don't. I mean, I'd also add that in the context of this rally that happened on Saturday, mm. um, Phil Twyford had just been booed off stage. For making the temerity the that two wrongs don't make a right and that Hamas <laughs> shouldn't have killed people. Exactly. So he was booed off stage. Chloe came on directly after him. She did not say to the audience, to the, to the crowd... Calm down um, or don't be mean know, to Phil. 